Yo, 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 what's good, baby? This your boy Flint Flossy, F. Floors, Flint Flow Double International Known. Back at it again. Here to talk about what's circulating on this world wide of webs, your fizz deals me. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I've been hearing a lot about this clip right here. TikTok about the name of Milka the Movement lists her requirements in order to be a husband. Apparently it has the internet all ruffled up. Here are a list of things I expect men to do in marriage. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tax and the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks. Number three, the dishes. Um, I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because I don't like to do the dishes. Number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, I don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash. I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up, iron what needs to be ironed, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it. Like if there's like a broken pipe or something, like he doesn't have to fix it, but he does have to be responsible and calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed. So it's just his responsibility. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made. Um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. Um, number eight is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. So if we're going kayaking, if we're deciding to take a camping trip, if we're deciding to go to a theme park, just at least two dates and or recreational activities per month. And number nine, an annual honeymoon. Um, I do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location. I think that's super cute. So definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation. Um, so that's two big trips per year. So a honeymoon and a separate family vacation. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, y'all. So <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That's her list, her requirements. You know, if you want to be a husband. And to keep it 1,000 with y'all, y'all know how I do. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real. My initial reaction is, <laughs> get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey yo, and I've been seeing a lot of negative comments, you know, referring to looks or whatever. And you know, that's not the angle I'm coming from. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't care how you look. I don't care if you're a supermodel. I I don't care what it is. Me personally, I think. I think it's a little out. I think it's outlandish. And honestly, there's certain things on that list that I would have no problem doing. As a man, you know, I grew up with a strong black father in the household. And I was raised a certain way. There's certain things as a man I would take, you know, take upon the doing. Like, I, I wouldn't trip. But that list in its entirety just comes off real, like, uh, like, just entitled, selfish. Just like, yo, you tripping. And that's just my personal opinion. Hey. There might be someone out there that says, hey, I will do it. I will, yes, I will pay the bills. I will cook. I will clean. I will rub your feet. I will, t two vacations a day. I will do, you know, hey. And if she finds someone like that, more power to her. But me personally, you come, you come to me with that. I'm, I'm going to look at you like, you crazy. <laughs> like, you tripping. And I've been sensing this entitled tone throughout social media. Ladies on TikTok and Instagram, you know, not all, of course, but you know, a good amount talking about, yo, how's this man gonna please me? How you gonna prove? How's he gonna prove himself to me? I'm the prize. What's he gonna do for me? And I'm like, me, me, me. I'm like, yo, <laughs> what's the, where's the direction of humanity going? Like, what happened it, it to reciprocity? It being a two way street. You know, you do for me, I do for you. You love me, I love you. It's feeling real narcissistic and self-absorbed you know and as a grown adult no one can tell you you're not allowed to have a list or standards not at all 
but if you end up alone walking these streets by yourself talking about what's going on i understand where what's where is it why do i i'm so alone because your long ass list <laughs> you can't complain but anyway there it is y'all like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think until next time